The third type we will review is about cases, when the project manager has to monitor the progress of a task across a few sequential steps. Imagine that, as part of your project, a new department or new team will be established. Five new employees need to be recruited, then onboarded to the company, and finally to be provided with access to an important corporate system. Hence, there will be three steps recruit, onboard, and provide system access. The whole activity is lengthy, as it can take two to three months, and you want to be tracking the progress diligently. So, whenever one step is ready, the next one starts immediately, without wasting any time in between. We begin as usual, column by column. First one can be a number indicator again. In the second column, where we usually add the category or task name, we will have the name of the new employee in this case. Next, we will have status. However, we will have one status column for each step. In this case, three columns. One for recruitment, one for onboarding, and one for the accesses. A little bit of formatting is needed here, as we have a lot of text in each cell. I will select the cells and wrap the text like that, and then adjust the column's width altogether. OK. We can use the status drop-downs we already created previously. We copy and paste these for all rows below the three headers. Now, if you want to avoid having the word status in each title box, we can insert an additional row under the title area. In the lower row, we copy and paste the content of the upper cells. We can remove the text from the row above by selecting them and pressing the delete button on your keyboard. Then we merge the three cells above the status names and name it status. We can delete the word status from the three cells below. We need to optimize the height of these two rows by selecting them and then double clicking on one of the main borders, like that. Good. As the other column headers are now having this idle row, we need to merge those and recenter again, one by one. All right. Finally, same tip for the final column free text named comments. And we're done. Now we can comprehensively track the progress of the recruitment following the key steps for each new employee. Note, as these are sequential steps, the status of a step cannot be more advanced compared to the status of the previous step, the one to its left. For example, if the person has not yet accepted their job offer, onboarding cannot have an ongoing status. As usual, we can do some final formatting to the title row. Awesome! We also completed the third tracker lesson in Excel. Can you see how useful trackers really are? They are one of the secret weapons of the project manager to monitor and control the important project tasks, which often remain hidden behind an activity from the project plan. And if that activity is on the critical path, you already know the impact on the project schedule will be even worse. But thanks to the work trackers, a project manager can observe the progress on a daily basis. Now that you know how to create different trackers, you can use that to customize one for your specific project needs. Need a standard tracker with just a few columns? Task responsible and status? Easy. You know how to do it. You want to add completion percentage? Or you need to track a few steps, hence include few status columns. It's no problem. Whatever project comes now, you will be able to craft your own tool for monitoring the progress of any task. The almighty Project Work Tracker.